What's going on family? It goes down in this video today. You're going to want to stick around and watch something very special happens in this video that doesn't happen very often. So I hope y'all enjoy. Roll that intro. What's going on YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. Guys, I'm stoked about today's episode, okay? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to catch a limit of crappie in the fall off of these brush piles, and hopefully I get lucky today and you're able to see a limit of crappie being caught. Now, typically in October, what I see in Texas is these crappie will absolutely stack up on brush, and it is very possible to catch a limit off of one single brush pile. So that's gonna be our goal today. Hopefully we can find a brush top that is absolutely loaded with crappie. I'm gonna be using my ACC crappie sticks today with that PC Fun reel. I'm gonna go over this setup in this video, so be sure to be on the lookout for that. But guys, we are on the road to 75,000 subscribers right now. And once we hit 75,000 subscribers, we're gonna have a massive giveaway on the channel on a live stream. All you gotta do is be subscribed and a giveaway video is gonna come out once we hit that 75,000 subscriber mark. And it's gonna be very simple and easy to enter. And guys, another thing that I was paying attention to on my analytics is about 75 to 80% of my viewers are not subscribed. Now, there, that could be for many different reasons, but I want you to do me a favor right now, check to see if you got that subscribe button hit and don't forget about that notification bell. I don't want you to miss out on this 75,000 subscriber giveaway. We're gonna be giving away some ACC crappie sticks, some slab city jigs, a fishing trip with myself, and it's just gonna be a good old time. So be sure you don't miss out on that. But we're gonna get on these crappie today for you guys. If you haven't, smash that like button, I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you are subscribed to the channel already, God bless you. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, it means the world to me. Thank y'all so much. None of this would be happening without my subscribers and the 903 Fishing family. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. All right, family, I'm gonna see if I can start catching these crappie for you guys. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, Let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do. Good gosh, is that a crappie? That sucker hit that like a god dog. Hey, that's a nice little keeper fish, guys. Nice little keeper. Nothing wrong with that fish at all. Try to keep some fish in the live well today, but we're gonna see if they can stay alive in there. Water temperature is sitting at 83.3. So let's go get another one. All right, guys. First couple of places I went to this morning didn't have fish on it and you know there are places where i think they should have fish this time of the year but our lake my lake is three foot low right now so that could have a major impact on where these crappie are going to go in the fall because these brush tops aren't in this you know same depth range that they typically are that could have an impact on these crappie so we're trying out this top that's the second one we've caught off of it. Oh, there's another one. There he is. Oh, let's go. Oh, that's a better fish. That is a way better fish right there. All right. Well, there's three off the brush top, guys. That's a better fish. That's a solid 12, 12 and a half, probably. Nothing wrong with that crappie. All right, I got enough water in there. Let's turn this live well off. All right, baby. There's three pretty quick. Looked like there was quite a bit of fish on this brush top. So I'm hoping we can catch all of them down here, baby. Let's see if there's a fourth one. Fishing about 10 foot deep right now. Like I said, this top's in about 15 and a half feet of water. Get it on out there a little bit. 
I'm really fishing the side of this brush top. Since it's in such shallower water now, this brush top comes up to about six, seven feet. Usually it only comes up to about 10. So I'm having to really fish the side of it. Can't fish on top of it because it's too shallow. Not saying that there's not fish that shallow on top of it, but I just don't want to take that risk of getting hung up over and over. So I'm scraping the side of it. Let's see if there's another one. I'm about to come right across the sweet spot, right in there. Oh, is that him? That's him. Got him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. That's a slab. That is a slab. Can't complain about that fish right there, guys. That is good fish. Good old crappie right there. Wow. Look at the mouth on that fish. Hey, he hit it once and then kind of slowly took it under from me. I believe that's four. You know what? I don't want to. I'm going to be proactive here, okay? I'm going to go ahead and get my clicker out. Go ahead and get my clicker. One, two, three, four. There's four, baby. All right, guys, let's go catch another one. What's going on family? Let's take a break from the fishing action real quick and let's go over our setup. I am using the seven foot one piece ACC crappie sticks with the newly designed super grip handle on here. And of course I have it paired with a Viper X 500 from PC Fun. Be sure to go to PCFun.com. Use code 903FISH15 to save you 15% off of your order. And of course guys, we're slip corking these crappie today off of these brush piles. And how I rig this slip cork setup is actually on the channel. A lot of people ask me, how do I rig this slip cork? And go to the channel, go to playlist, go to how to playlist. And this video is actually gonna be on there. Now it's an older video, but it is essentially the same setup right here. And this setup's gonna catch you crappie year round. Right now is also a great time to hit that like button. If you haven't, smash that subscribe button. Remember, we're on the road to 75,000 subscribers. I want you to be entered into that giveaway. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button. It's free to subscribe to the channel. Now you know the setup that we're using to catch these crappie. Let's go catch some more. Y'all stay tuned. All right. Wow, a little bit there. Right on the side of that pot. Oh, good God, is that a, there's no way that's a crappie biting like that. And it is, and it's because they're in their fall bite and they're hungry guys i'm gonna try to zoom i'm gonna try to zoom in on that bobber shot right there i mean geez that, that did not bite like a crappie a bit like a large mouth there's another keeper fish guys quick too there's five five in there baby let's go hey what an aggressive bite See if there's another one. I might be a little too far off here. Now, what you can find in the morning, guys, in the fall, these crappie may not be sucked up to that brush top, okay? Water's cooler, a lot of bait moving around. These crappie, more than likely, especially in the morning time, right now it's eight o'clock on the dot. A lot of the times you'll see them in the morning, they'll be off. They're around the brush top, but they're not just hugged up to it all this bait in the water right now moving around so these crappie can be off of that brush a little bit chasing bait so you just won't see them rotting right up next to it look at that there's another one look at that is that another good fish it is guys let's go same brush top right here wow look at that well, guys, that's six. Dang. Six in about 10 minutes. I mean, quick. Real quick. God, dog. All right, guys. Hopefully, this keeps on rolling. Y'all stay tuned. That is insane. There he is. Oh, we got another good one, guys. Look at there. Oh, that's another good one. There we go. Had to come right off the brush top on that one. Quit getting bites over here on the side. 
So I decided to throw a little bit more on the buoy. And I'll be done. There's another one, baby. Let's ride. All right, guys, that's number seven. That is number seven. And let's see if we can catch another one. Guess what, guys? I still got that minnow, okay? I'm going to show you how I thread them on here in one second. That might be right in the brush top. Oh, there he is. There he is, baby. Uh-oh, seven foot ACC right here. Look at this seven footer, guys. Seven foot ACC, that light tip. I mean, right to the, right to you. No complaints there. Look at that fish. Solid eater, not a giant. I think we're gonna catch a couple giants out of there if we keep on. I think there's gonna be a couple big ones in there somewhere. Here we go, guys, that's number eight. All right, guys, this is how I hook my minnows, okay? Got the minnow in my right hand, two-aught Aberdeen Eagle Claw crappie hook right here. Through the mouth, out the gill. Turn the hook in the minnow right in the top of the back. Look at that minnow. Look at it. He's able to swim freely. Now, of course, I'm popping that minnow back to me, of course, but I have, ever since I started hooking my minnows this way, I've caught more crappie and I've caught more crappie on less minnows, saving me money. Now, I know I don't know anybody that don't want to save money, especially when you're buying minnows. Caught my first six fish to the right over here, and then I caught my next two over here. Oh, gosh, there he is. And there's one right there. Oh, let's see, that, that's a better fish, guys. Look at that crappie. That's a better fish. Okay, okay. We back rolling real quick. Got to figure them out, guys. Just got to figure them out. There we go. All right, there's nine. All right, guys, there's nine. Number nine, baby. Let's roll. All right, guys, that's number nine. Let's see if we can get another one to bite. Getting them double digits, baby. Should be money right there. Come on, I'm calling it money. Let's go. Oh, is that him? That's him. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, guys, uh-oh, biggest of the day. Oh, it's a slab. That is a slab. All right, guys, let's see what this ACC can do. Look at that fish, guys. That's the biggest of the day. Look at the mouth on that crappie, guys. Look at the mouth. That is giant. All right, guys. Well, whew, how about that for the 10th fish of the day? All right, guys, that's number 10. We'll put him in there. All right, guys, I stopped getting bit at 10 foot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go a foot shallower. And I'm going to see if that helps my cause here. Because I'm pretty sure there's more fish down there. I may have caught all those crappie at, you know, that what? Oh, gosh. We'll get a first cast at 11. Oh, my gosh. And it's a good one. That's a stud right there, guys. Look at that ACC crappie stick, seven footer, right up here, guys. Look at that. You can't beat that. That is a stud. That is a stud fish right there, guys. Holy smokes. Check that out, guys. That is a big fish. That's a big one. Look at that mouth. All right, guys, that's number 11 right there, guys. That's number 11. Let's put him in the live well. Check out the mouth on it. Look at that fish beautiful all right guys <laughs> first cast at 11 feet and i mean i didn't even get it i didn't even get to say it and that sucker big crappie too so i'm gonna i'm gonna throw back again past where i'm getting bit bring it into that strike zone and i mean that sucker was not playing 
I think that's where I got bit the first time. Oh, it is. It is. That's where I got bit the first time, way out there. And look at that. Another keeper fish, guys. Solid. Solid keeper. Look at that, guys. Wow. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, guys. Well, we are almost, almost pretty much halfway to a limit. That's number 12. So let's keep on going, baby. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. Here we go. Well, may have found something out here. Past two fish have been way over there which is still on the side of the pile. This pile starts up about that buoy marker and goes that way. So if I get bit again, it's gonna tell me a lot here. These Viper X from PC Phone are so smooth, guys. So smooth. Cast a mile with it, pitch a mile with it too. Uh oh there he is oh that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one god the mouth on that fish guys another toad another toad oh that's another slab look at that crappie guys toad that is a good fish right there guys another good one no complaints there all right, guys, we are officially a little more than halfway to a limit. Kind of, sort of, 13. <laughs> In Texas, got to be 25 over 10 inches. I, I haven't even had to measure one today, guys. Haven't even had to measure one. Let's go get another one. All right, guys, on that last one, that sucker was way over there. Now, there could either be more structure over there that I just don't know about at the moment, or... These crappie are just way off the pile, chasing bait, like I thought they would be. I think there's some more over there too. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, is it another slab? Oh, it's that's ah, a good fish for sure. Look at that fish. That is a slab, actually. That is a good fish. Look at that, guys. Wow. All right, baby. Well, we back rolling. Back rolling. There we go. That is number 14. 14. Wow. All right, guys. Well, we're going to keep on rolling at this spot. I'm not going to move. Done caught 14 fish off this pile. So let's keep on going. Let's see if we can't possibly catch a limit off of it. All right, guys. I hope I didn't jinx myself by saying the L word. A lot of times that could really jinx yourself. I'm pretty superstitious. Oh gosh. There he is. Get out of there. Oh God, that's a, oh yes. Wow. It's a good fish. Seven foot ACC up to me. Dang guys, that is a healthy looking crappie. Guys, that is a healthy fish. Look at that minnow. Look at that minnow. And guess what, guys? If everything goes well, I can reuse that minnow again, baby. All right, guys. Well, I hope I didn't jinx myself by saying the L word. But we're going to find out soon enough. Here we go. That is going to be number 15, baby. And guess what? I still got that minnow. I'm going to go back in that same spot. Ah, a little bit to the left, but that's not far from where I just got bit. Let's see if it works. He didn't take long either. Oh, gosh, he hit it. Something hit it. Oh, is he on? He is on. Oh, he just wasn't taking the cork on. That's back-to-back -back cast. That's going to be a keep. That's going to be a little keeper. 11 and a half or so let's go look at that i'm telling you guys this is awesome right here nice that's two in a row off the same minnow same spot 16. all right guys we're getting close baby y'all stay tuned 
what a hit. I'm gonna go back and get him right here. I'm gonna go back and get him. Watch this, we're gonna get that one back right here. We're gonna get that one back. There he is. There he is. Yes, sir. Uh-oh, first black crappie. Don't know if that's gonna keep or not. It might, it might. Hey guys, that's the first black crappie I have caught off of this pile this morning. 16 keepers, 16 keepers in the cooler or in the live well. Look at that guys. It's gonna be just over 10 inches. Just over 10, baby. Let's go. Oh, come on, dude. You're killing me, don't do it. Ow. All right, guys, there he is. Let's go, let's go. Hey, what is that, 17? 17 keepers, guys, let's rock. I wonder if there's eight more in the, on this pile or around this pile, whatever you wanna say. All my fish this morning have come off this pile. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the bite has slowed down on me, not catching them as quick as I was when I first got here. That's when changing your depths maybe a little different retrieve with that minnow letting it sit longer that's when switching things up start to come in play but i would definitely say the most important is switching your depths up because if you're you know i've been catching all my fish at 10 11 feet i'm thinking about going a foot deeper i may get in the range of those other crappie there may be more crappie just sitting deeper so if I don't get bit in the next couple of casts, I will switch up that depth. I'm probably gonna go back, probably gonna go deeper first before I go back shallower. Cause I caught a lot of fish at 10 and 11 feet. Is that one? That is one. There's one way over there. Still off the pile. Okay, we're still rolling, baby. There he is. Nice. There he is, guys. Whew. Well, took a little bit. Like I said, they've slowed down. I've actually went a lot deeper. So that's going to be 18. I need to get me another minnow and get back in there. Right, now I'm fishing at about 12 and a half, maybe 13 feet. All right, guys, just put 18 in there. Can we put the 19th? That is the question. Oh, that's him. Dude, guys, he knocked the fire out of that. Cork went flat. Look at that. There's 19. Oh, I barely got him hooked. There's 19 right there, guys. Let's go. 19. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Sorry, dude. You're going in there, buddy. I hate to tell you, but you're going. 19, guys. Whoo. All right, we're rolling. We're back rolling. 19, guys. Let's keep going. Here we go. I think I've... I've done went deeper, like I said, guys, probably about 13 feet. Probably only about 16 feet deep over there. I do think there's more structure closer to the bottom. Maybe we can get six more out of there. Oh, there he is. Oh, we slammed it. Absolutely slammed it. Not a giant, but guess what? That's gonna be 20. That is number 20. No measurement needed. I've only had to measure one fish today, and that was that 10 and a quarter black crappie. Everything else, I really haven't had to measure, so that's good. All right, guys, that right there, the big 2-0. Let's see if there's five more keepers here. If that's the case, then we've caught a limit off of one pile today. That's kind of what I'm shooting for here. With these brush tops, you gotta see how far out, how far away from the actual, you know, the marker's here, but that doesn't mean I can't catch a crappie 10 feet to the right, 10 feet to the left, etc. 
So you really just gotta see where you can get bid at. And most of my crappie today have came 10 to 15 feet to the right of this buoy. I have caught a few over here to the left, but I'd say 80% of my fish have been over here to the right. And there's another one. Or that's a, is that a crappie? It is. Oh, it's a black. I don't know if he's gonna make it, guys. It's a black. It's gonna be the second fish I've had to measure. He gonna be close. Looks like that's gonna be 10. Let's see what he's looking like, guys. Oh, 10, almost 10 and a half, guys. Almost 10 and a half. Let's go. Okay, guys, we're rolling. We are officially rolling. We got 21. Four more. Is there four more keeper crappie on this pile? Y'all stay tuned to find out. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a stud. Oh my God, did y'all see the mouth? Okay, that's one of the biggest of the day. That is one of the biggest of the day. Don't break me off here. Come on, dude. That is a healthy looking crappie. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that fish. That is a stud. You gotta reposition the boat. As I was repositioning there, I got bit. There we go, baby. Hey guys, that's 22. All right, guys, I have switched angles on the pile. I'm gonna see if this helps. I have seen in the past where catching a lot of fish and then the bite dies down, switching up the angles on the pile, how you're fishing and how you're bringing that bait across that brush pile, that could mean a difference. So we need three more for a limit. Hopefully changing this angle right here helps. There's one right off the top. Right off, oh yes sir. There's 23, baby. Nice. All right, guys. There's 23. Let's go, baby. 23, 23. Here we go. All right, guys. We need two more for that, that limit off of this one brush top. Let's get it. All right, guys. Two more. Two more. There's another one. There's 24, baby. Oh, it's a solid fish. About a 12 incher. There's 24, guys. Well, here we go. I was doubting it for a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. Bite slowed up, but then I went ahead and changed angles on this pile. Now we're sitting at one more. Let me see. I just put two more in there. That's 24. Here we go. One more. Let's see if I can do this without cutting the video. So we just caught 24. Let's see if we can get this 25th on the next cast. Pretty sure I know where to put it. All right, guys. I need one more. One more. Is that him? That's him. That's him. I did it. I did it, guys. There's a limit off of one brush top in the fall, baby. Limit off of one brush top. There he is, guys. That's 25. 25 crappie off one pile one pile took me about two and a half about two and a half hours yeah guys check it out how to catch limits of crappie in the fall right here baby let's go all right family we got 25 in the live well what a day what a day very blessed day guys but these crappie are going to be stacked up on these brush tops 
I would say anywhere from 10 to 16 to 18 feet of water. I mean, it's going down in October, guys. October is gonna be one of your best crappie fishing bites there is. Now I'm gonna head back to the boat ramp. I'm gonna set this limit of crappie out on the tailgate for you guys. And also, right now is a great time to hit that like button if you haven't, and smash that subscribe button. Come join the family. I'll see y'all back at the ramp. Y'all stay tuned. What's going on, family? Back at the boat ramp, and guess what? I have this limit of Texas crappie laid out for you guys right here. All over 10 inches in the state of Texas. 25 per person per day right here, baby. That is some good eating. And that was a lot of fun catching this lemon of crappie, guys. Like I've already mentioned, these crappie are going to stack up on brush tops anywhere from 10 to probably about 16, 18 feet or so. But it's going to be a great time. October is the time. If you want to go catch you a lemon of crappie, October is going to be the best time for you to do that. Now, I want y'all to keep in mind, I am in Texas, okay? I'm in Texas. Water temperature today was anywhere from 80 to 83. I believe it was about 83 by the time I got off. Guys, right now we still have temps in the 90s for the daytime highs. Now the lows are dropping into the upper 60s, mid 60s or so, but you know, it's it's still getting relatively hot, but the cooler it gets, the better that these crappie are gonna bite for you. Today, seven foot one piece guys, ACC crappie sticks. I'm really starting to, to like this rod a lot right here. New super grip handle on it, very light, very sensitive. And guess what? I didn't use a net today at all. I flipped every one of these crappie in the boat with that seven foot one piece ACC. And of course, paired with that Viper X 500 from PC Fun. Y'all be sure to go to PCFun.com, use code 903FISH15 to save you 15%. And you won't regret buying one of those PC Fun reels, guys. They're smooth and they're light. They pair really well with these ACC crappie sticks. And I tell you what, guys, these new Ionic lithium batteries right here, I have used these suckers for about four to five trips already. And guess what? Haven't charged them one time. Haven't charged them one time. I just checked my phone and they're still sitting at about 60%. Both of them are still sitting at 60% after four to five trips. Y'all can get a discount on these ionic lithium batteries at drewcraft.com and code 903 fishing will save you some money. Depending on what battery you buy, amp hour battery, how much amp hours, it's going to save you some money, guys. Go to drewcraft.com, use code 903 fishing, save you some money. Well, guys, that's going to end this video today. I really can't believe I caught that lemon of crappie off of one single brush top. Had to work for him at the end, though, okay? Caught most of my fish 10 to 11 foot deep. But then all of a sudden the bite got real slow had to go to 12 12 and a half 13 feet and you know i kind of just really worked that water column over and over 10 to 13 foot deep and i would catch two or three two or three two or three finally got that limit of texas crappie for you guys if you enjoyed this video smash that thumbs up button it really helps out the channel and if you're already subscribed god bless you y'all know i would not be doing this without you guys if you haven't hit that subscribe button, remember, we're on the road to 75,000 subscribers. You do not want to miss this giveaway. It's free to enter. All you have to do is be subscribed. So smash that subscribe button. Come join the family. And you know what? I'm going to go to the floating barge to see if anybody wants these crappie. Some people call me crazy for giving away all these crappie, guys. But I could pretty much come out here and catch supper anytime that I want to. And that's not the case for a lot of other people so if i can bless somebody with a meal for today that's exactly what i'm going to do so i'm going to go to the floating bars to see if anybody wants these crappie right here um, that may be in the video it may not my big camera my big sony camera i had it on the tripod today guys and it fell in the water luckily i was able to grab the tripod with the camera i have a warranty on that sucker so I'm hoping it covers it. Go get you these fall crappie, guys. Fall crappie fishing 2023 is on in Texas, and it's a great, aggressive bite. You do not want to miss out on this fall crappie fishing bite. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless.